be breaking every single one of their dad's rules in the house. Y'all better not throw my club. To teach him that he is so crazy, out of control, and he needs to just relax. My husband Marco is the strictest person I know. On top of that, he's a neat freak. Everything has to be super clean, and he has so many rules for our house. Y'all not about to go on my white carpet. I believe that my husband is depriving them of having fun. Well, let's see how long that lasts. Let's see how long you can last because you're the clean freak. If he says no to breaking the rules, he has to clean up this mess. No, I'm not cleaning up nothing. Beverly Hall, boys! Hey! Did you guys know why you guys have those shirts on today? Uh, of course. Like, how could you not know that? What does your shirt say, Cannon? Uh, it says... Mm, mission to break the rules, Dad's. Mission to break Dad's rules. Okay, because how many rules does Dad have? He has billions. A like, billion. Boy, watch this. One, two, three. How do you know your dad doesn't like that? Yeah, we can break the rules with this. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do everything that Dad tells us not to do. Oh my God, you're going to make him freak out. Why? Watch, watch. Hey, watch. where are you going? Where are you going? Are you ready to break some rules today? So you know how every single morning you come downstairs and you fluff this couch so that the oh kids don't God. put any dents in it? Uh -oh. Go kids, go! Oh. Yes! Do you want to clean it up? So y'all got permission to break the rules, shirts? Oh yeah, we went all out, baby. They could do whatever they want. If you guys have ever wanted to jump on your dad's stuff, now is the time. Don't you think this is fun, babe? So you need to loosen up a little. Look how much fun the kids are having. Oh, are you okay, Dad? You wanna have fun? Look at this! Whoa! Whoa. Way to go, Cannon! Dad, 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 dad. You mind holding this really quick? What are you guys doing? You know one of the rules Dad says? We're not allowed to slam the baby! Yeah, let's go! Yeah. Oh my god. What the Get heck? Back, Watch this, guys! One, two, three! Yeah! Oh. Rule number two, Dad never wants us to steal. He never lets us move the furniture. What are you doing? We are having fun. This is really Woo! not fair. Like, they really putting a torture to me. Who put you up to this? The Beverly Hall family told me to do that. You guys told her to do that? Why do you got a box, man? What is it? No! No! Kaden, don't join them bad people. Please don't join them people. Be on daddy's side. Kaden, leave the balls alone. No! Nana, Nana, boo boo! No! Oh my gosh, Flashies! No, Yo, I'm really messing up my. Oh my god! Oh! This is not fun. Yes, it is! No, it's not! I love breaking the rules! All of us versus Dad! You enjoy this Let's nice go. little ball pit. Marco has no idea, but this challenge is about to get so much harder. Next is his precious white living room. Kids, get your shoes on. You're not putting them on nowhere near my carpet. Yeah, no. we are. Well, Kenna just kicked dust in another day. I think you maybe can't read today, but do you see what that shirt says? Permission yeah. to break dad's rules. Exactly. Rules. No. Oh, are you stopping the challenge? Let's go. I'm not playing with y'all. Get off. You do the moonwalk on my couch again. <laughs> He's doing the gritty on my. Oh, no, I'm about to get out. Get out of my right living room. I don't want this challenge. Some dirty clocks and these dirty little Nikes and them dirty old flops that didn't take trash out in. What's this? Can't jump in on my chair. Oh my god. No, what we're gonna do? We're gonna eat snacks. We're gonna eat everything for my dad. Be my there snack. we go. Oh my goodness. Yes, kids, as much as you'd like. You bought the what? Why are you giving them all them snacks? They go get cavities. No, they're not. Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh. oh my! What? Man, what are you doing? No! Are they yummy? I've only got all these M and M's on my floor like that. Funny. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna eat in the living room! <laughs> Guys, I have a better idea. Yes, what's the idea, Mom? We need this now. Let's go throw his clothes off of the balcony. Oh! He's good, let's go! Go! Yeah. And we're moving upstairs with our shoes on. <laughs> let's throw Daddy's clothes. 
clothes off of the balcony into the pool. Okay. <laughs> Open it up, Braylon. Look at so how spotless. We need to bring so much clothes. I'm sorry, Dad, but your clothes won't be wet. wet. <laughs> so basically, this is me and Dad's balcony, and this is our pool. So let's throw some of Dad's clothes in there. Oh, right, right here. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> No. I just need you to hold the camera, okay? What are y'all doing? Just stay out here. We're playing hide and seek. Kaden, no. Count to 30, okay? What are y'all doing? Huh? Give me them m and &E. No, what are y'all doing? Isn't this your most expensive Oh, y'all ain't about to mess with my cologne, man. Come on. Don't you want to smell like Yeah. Man, come on, no. Let's spread my cologne. No. Get out of my cologne. What are y'all doing? Why are you wasting my cologne? Why are you on my cologne? What are you doing? No! No! No, you're not! No, you're not! No, you're not! <laughs> no, why y'all messing my closet like that? No, you're not. I'm not letting y'all out of here. No, you're not messing. Why y'all throw all my clothes on the floor? Y'all ain't getting out of here. I'm gonna throw you. Marquette, no! Get out of my closet! Y'all ain't getting out of this closet. No! No! No, I can't withstand this. Not my closet. No. You're already tore it up. Get out. What I just say? No. No. Y'all better not throw my clothes. No. 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 No! I can't believe y'all did that! What the heck? Oh my God. <laughs> Look at my clothes! That's it! That's it! I feel kind of bad. Honestly, yeah, I feel kind of bad. This, hey, 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 this isn't want... really a nice challenge. Who I mean, it's a... fun, but don't you guys think it's kind of mean? Yeah. I think we're going a little <clears throat> bit over the rim with it. That's so sad that he's picking up his clothes. Teamwork makes the dream work, all right? Aww. Aww. Dad looks like he's really sad, like he wants to give up. Yeah. Maybe it's not nice to break the rules because it can hurt people's feelings. You see him? No, the clothes sunk to the bottom. Oh, wow. Dang it. They're so sad. Mm -hmm. Oh man, look at this place. It looks like a big style. It's been like two years cleaning this place up. Are you having fun? Good luck, Dad. Kaden didn't do anything. Kaden, you're such a good boy. First, let's go and say sorry to Dad. Okay. All right, let's say sorry. <clears throat> We're sorry. Yes, we are. And we feel really Let's bad. Brand new shirts in the pool. Oh, no, that's clean. Brand new clean shirts. Some of my brand new sportswear, jeans, <laughs> everything. Well, we came to say sorry with an ultimatum. What is the ultimatum? Try. You may not. No. 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 Just go under and drink this drink. An exception to that, we have one more thing. And you'll really win, and we'll clean it up if Dad does this. Yeah. Dad has to sleep outside on the mattress. Oh, yeah. I got to sleep outside on a mattress? Yep, we're going to put your mattress in the pool. Why I got to sleep on it? Oh. Because we've excommunicated you out of the house for all of your strict rules. I, yeah. Your rules are too strict, so the only way that you'll be forgiven is if you sleep outside on an air mattress. So y'all clean it up if I sleep in the pool? Yeah. Okay, get the, get the bed. Before we get the mattress, I have to take advantage of this day because I'm never gonna get to do this again. So let's go ahead and dance on his countertops with my shoes on. Oh my goodness, with the crunch.
I know for a fact that my husband is not gonna sleep outside on this mattress all night long. But if he does, the boys and I will clean up this mess. All right, babe. All right, kids. All right, I hope this is over after I... Yeah, it's it. Yes, as long as you stay out here, you're good. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna stay out here. Yep, we're gonna clean it. As long as you don't get out. As soon as you get on there, Dad, you cannot get off. You can't get off. Oh, no. Oh, ah! oh, oh crap, the bats are coming out. <laughs> this is so bad. So I'm just laying here relaxed. Wait, what you know. do you have? Is that my iPad? If you don't oh. I have her iPad and she's about to go. So it's either you let me in or not. Marco, Lynn. You let me in. I Paul. win the challenge. No. I win the challenge. No. Or it goes in the water. Which one? Marco, you know you can't do that. I, I thought you don't break the rules. I broke it today. I'm about to drop it. No. <sighs> She's trying to go. Wow. I don't think you're gonna get it. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna get it, Mom. I'm gonna drop it back. No, you're not. No. 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 Please. Why would you play about my iPad? You really jumped <laughs> in the pool with me. No. I'm throwing it in the water. Do y'all call it truth? Look, Chloe. Y'all okay. better call it truth. We can all say, break our iPad. Break, break, break our iPad. If you break it, then we will break your TV. Exactly, Dad. Yeah. It was at this moment I knew we needed a resolution and someone had to be the bigger person. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. Rules are important. I hate to say it, but rules are important because that's chaos in there. Dad has a point. But you can you can loosen up a little bit, right? I mean, you're so strict, dude. Maybe I could. Very strict, Dad. As like... long as he says that he will promise to not be so strict. Everybody put their hand in. All going to be more understanding of each other and work together as a family for some balance. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. All right, Truth. put your hands uh -huh. in. Put it in, Cannon. No, I'm gonna break the rules Cannon. Cannon, no, Cannon, Cannon. You don't put it's it in. It's over, once you, you put your go, hand Dad. in, it's over. Ohana means family, and family means nobody gets left behind. <laughs> okay, truce, everyone? Truce. truce. I get the last laugh. Says more Cannon didn't want to call the truce. I mean, it's iffy. I got the PS5. So with that being said, no more PS5. I'm about to go hide it forever. I got the last laugh. <laughs> Today we're transforming our backyard oh my gosh. into the most epic 14th birthday party for our son Braylon. Are you ready for your birthday party today? Yeah. The problem is Braylon's homeschooled and he doesn't really have many friends. Mom, I don't have any friends. So he's afraid that nobody's gonna show up to his party. But here's the thing, even if no one shows up to his party, Marco and I have a huge surprise gift for him and we have a special guest in route that will shock him. This was put together very like last minute and I'm really freaking out. But like I have faith in it, everything is gonna work out. The first step is getting this bounce house to fit in our backyard. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm still very much limping. Oh my God. Oh. I have to make sure that everything goes perfectly. I really wanted this water slide to be able to extend into the pool, but the way our house is built, there's not enough room because it's 20 feet tall. I just ran into a huge problem. I forgot about tables and chairs for our guests. Like, I don't know where our guests are gonna sit. Second, I don't even know how to get guests because I invited everyone like literally 12 hours before the party starts. Like, I don't even know if people are gonna show up. I have to go to Target. I probably should not be doing this, but I am not gonna let my baby not have a good birthday party because I freaking twisted my ankle. Moms, if you know, you know, you pull it together. What do you think about how your party's coming together, huh? I know, it looks good. That's huge, but, but mom, I don't have any friends. I told you to tell your friends and you wouldn't tell them. I only have one, like. It's all right. We're gonna have a great birthday party regardless. Aren't you gonna help Braylon have a great day today even if nobody shows up to the party? Yeah. What do you think That's of? huge. With only four hours left until Braylon's party, we're headed into Target to get some gift bags and hopefully we can find some seating for his potential guests. I'm looking for some goodie bags for your guests. <laughs> What gas? <laughs> Some goody pants. What about the ones with the polka dots? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I take that as a no. Maybe I should get these kiddish little baby sharks. Now, Breland, stop being sarcastic. Blue's your favorite color. What about blue?
If you can't tell, Braylon is not enthused about the idea of having a party. She put, these are just little trinkets. Is this weird to give to kids or is it kinetic sand? Is it fun? I mean, to toddlers, yes. Okay, well take out what you think is boring. This is boring, this is boring. <laughs> I mean, I could go on and on. Those? Maybe just put like one in each. Okay, so now let's add candy and some, and some gift cards, right? Yeah. You need 12. That's oh only God, seven, bro. <laughs> what? What? Oh my God. Dude, your guests are gonna think you're trying to poison them. One, two, three, you got the plastic. Four, this one is not okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yep. Here we go. Everybody loves Tootsie Rolls. You're like obsessed with basketball. Okay. Braylon was told at the beginning of this year that he would never be able to play basketball professionally. And what he doesn't know is that Marco and I have something really special up our sleeve at the end of this video. Oh, wow, first try. <laughs> but I wanted to get to the uh, task here. But you do know that you're not allowed to play basketball, like professionally, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. No, seriously. I know yeah, you want know. to, but you literally can't, unless if they find a cure. I mean, I could. If I wanted to. No, Braylon, literally you can't. Like, it can literally hurt you really bad. One thing Braylon hates being told is that he can't do something. So where are those gift cards at? Can we get 12 of these? I think eight is good because not all the kids play it. Yeah. One other big problem that I forgot to mention to you is that there's nowhere for your guests to sit and eat their food. Exactly. I mean, those are huge, like NBA chairs. Wait, what am I saying? WWE chairs. Three. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> two, three, four, five. So we ended up getting 10 chairs and two tables. Hopefully this is enough for whoever shows up and they're able to sit comfortably. Oh my gosh, Braylon, we gotta hurry up because we only have a few hours left for your party. I promise, today is gonna be so worth it, okay? Yeah, but tomorrow's gonna be school. <laughs> Don't think about tomorrow, live in the moment. While Marco's back home making sure that everything's being set up correctly for the party, Braylon and I have to secure a birthday cake. Breed's Bakery came through. You might wanna hold that on your lap. Here, I will, oh God. Oh, we don't have any ice cream. Throwing a birthday party is so much work. Yeah, I, I didn't think that a birthday party would be this special. And you know, like, because I just feel like, why would you need a, a birthday party? Who, who deserves it every single year? Like who, who? I don't you, get it. You're our kid, and we love yeah, you, I and we think it. you're special, and that you deserve to be celebrated because 14 is a huge milestone. Now that we have everything we need for the party, my husband's gonna leave to go pick up Braylon's special gift. Okay. Oh, but on top of the gift, I feel like gifts are one thing, but to actually surprise your kid with something that like no amount of money could ever buy or replace from you is another. So. As you guys know, Braylon doesn't have that many friends. When Marco and I got married, Braylon moved all the way across the country with us and kind of lost all of his friends, all of his family, and everybody. Like, it was a complete fresh and brand new start. And Marco and I did it in good reason because we wanted to give him the best life that we possibly could. But it did, like, take him away from some people, like, and some family that he absolutely loves and adores. So, in particular, he has one best friend that he plays on the game with, and it's his cousin, and he has not seen him in ages. And so what nobody knows, except for me, I want to make sure no one can hear because this is the biggest surprise. I'm going to be surprising Braylon with him coming to the party. So this is going to make the day so much more special. Words cannot put into meaning how much this is going to mean to him. So I'm so excited. I just got confirmation that more kids are coming. I am so excited. Braylon's going to freak out. When I came downstairs, I saw Braylon hanging out by the table with no guests. He was looking so worried that no one was going to come. And then this happened. You just have to give people some time. I started to notice some friends rolling up to our house. I told you somebody was gonna come. Oh uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty excited. Who, who's coming? I don't know. Oh look, his friends are here. Oh, say hi, say hi. That's it, say hi, say right, hi. Hi guys, oh my gosh, thank you all so much for coming. Are you guys, did you guys bring your swim stuff? Yeah. Oh yay, okay cool. And the gaming truck's out there? The first thing all the boys wanted to do was try out the giant water slide. Before I knew it, all of the guests had arrived, including Braylon's special guest. This is Chris. This Hello. is my, my big cousin. He's my baby cousin, but he's my big cousin. He came all the way from Ohio with my auntie and baby Hunter. We're about to sneak up on Braylon. Talk to 
I'll go try. I haven't seen Braylon in a bit. Talks about you all the time. Yeah. Okay, you stay right here. Come here. I have oh, a surprise for you. Well. Banana and Pop are coming too. Turn around. Don't look. Don't look right. Turn around. Uh -oh. You're such a cheater. You keep okay, looking. Okay, okay. I'm trying to see where I'm going. No, no, no. We'll watch okay, you. Okay. You're okay. You you're fine. Oh, you're, you're fine. All right, Braylon. Turn around. Amidst all of Braylon's new amazing friends, he is about to be joined by a familiar face that has journeyed all the way across the country to join his celebration. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I don't care. Oh, how wonderful! Wow. 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 Thank you, guys. Was that a good birthday gift? Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, let's have some fun. Let's go. <laughs> now the boys are headed to the moment they've all been waiting for, which is the game truck. Holy crap. Before Braylon can get his big surprise present at the end of this video, we all have to sing him happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Braylon. Happy Ready for your big gift? Yes. Why is it a big gift? Braylon's headed to his big gift. Let's Everybody go. Walk that way. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. Braylon has a genetic heart condition where he cannot be into sports and stuff like that. He, can't he was compete. told at the beginning of this year that he wasn't ever allowed to professionally compete in or anything professional sports or anything in high school sports or anything. So, yes, we know he loves certain things and we know he's bod been bothering me so freaking much. Well, Hi. son, you ready? Thank you. As Braylon's 14th birthday party comes to an end, his basketball hoop will soon be standing tall as a symbol of resilience and determination for him to never give up. He's surrounded by friends who defy distance and time to be here. Braylon realized that true support shows no bounds. I hope he remembers this day forever and everyone who made it special to him. What's up Beverly Hall family? How are you guys doing today? Welcome back to our channel guys. If you're new here, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the post notifications so that you do not miss a video. This is going to be one of the best videos of the year because I am going to be surprising my husband Marco with his dream car. I feel like it's been a few years since we've got a car, so I just wanted to get something new, something fresh for our family of five, and I'm so excited to show you guys what I chose. So let's go. Ooh, so sunny out here. I secured the car. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to surprise Marco for Father's Day. I feel like he deserves this so much. I just love him and I feel like he's such a great dad. He's such a great husband. He always puts everyone before himself and I feel like he would have never brought himself to make this purchase on his own. So I went ahead and I did it for him. Baby, I love you and I'm so excited for you to see what I picked out for you. I'm getting ready to pull back up home and I hope that you love me and the boys so much for doing this for you for Father's Day. Oh my God, I'm pulling up back home. I hope that he does not see me pulling in. I called and I asked him and he said that he was in the back room working on something in the movie theater, which is on the opposite side of the house. So I'm praying to God that he is still over there. Okay, I think maybe I should park the car Hey, you guys know what tomorrow is? This no. one? No, Father's Day. Oh. So that means, look at me, Cannon. That means that we have to do something special for Dad. Wow. Yeah. You guys know. So, 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 so he can let my brother play the game because he's playing on the 
<laughs> so I did something for all of us, and I got Dad a new car. What? Yeah, so it's gonna be our gift to him. He's gonna love that. Yes, wow. I know, I'm so excited. So do you guys wanna see the new car first? Yes. yes. All right, all right, come here, come here. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Do you like Daddy's new car? Yeah. Yeah? Mm, um, it's kind of beautiful. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> what are Do you, you think Dad's going to love it? Don't you know Dad's been wanting a new car? Mom. What? Look at that. Why? It's, it matches the oh other one. Oh my god. It matches the other Malibu though. Oh, come on, I just spent all our money on this. Wow, how much money is going to be so ungrateful. You think... <laughs> I'm going to knock, knock. <laughs> no, isn't it cute? And I feel like it's perfect size for all of us. It's like an amateur Hot Wheel car. Yeah. So are you telling me you don't think this is a good gift? It is. Probably not for him. I love him. I love it. I, I you love it? Mom, I'm... I mean, I'm so grateful that you took your time out of your day to get him a car. This is but... so slow. Let's go one, oh one per hour. One more <laughs> Yeah. I love it. Oh my God. Should I just take it back? Should I just take it back? Uh -huh. Be honest. Do you think Dad's going to like it or, or not? I, I, I think Dad's going to like it. I don't think he's going to like it. I don't think he's going to like it. Well, he better like it because that's what we got him for Father's Day. Well, how is that not it? A Lamborghini? Yeah. yeah, Mom. That Mom, this is too freaking small for him. <laughs> He's a freaking Iron Man. A, a home. He's crazy. It doesn't even have that much space. What do you mean? And Mom, it's not even washed. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even washed. Well, it's because I got a discount. They said if I did it myself. Wow, I like mean, a piece of cake. smells brand new, but, oh my god. I think what y'all need to do is just act like it's a great gift. And then if we all act like it's a great gift, then he'll think it's a great gift. Fine. Okay, but what, if he, what if he hates it? Well, he won't because he'll feel bad because it's Father's Day. He can't hate it. Okay. All right, let's go get the him. Beautiful sky. Yeah. I want you guys to tell him. Marco. Father's Day tomorrow. And we wanted to surprise you with the early Father's Day gift. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You You've been to? such a good dad and, yeah. you know, we can't compress the name more how much we love you. Aw. They love you so much and they helped me with this and we just think it's going to be really special for you. Yeah. So I think you should come outside. You're always cleaning. On a scale of one to ten, how much do you guys think Daddy's gonna like his gift? I think he's gonna love it, guys. One honestly. or ten? Ten, he's gonna love it. One, he's gonna hate it. I would say I, I a ten he, out of ten. I, I think he's not gonna like. It. What'd a you ten say? out of ten. Ten out of ten. ten. See, Braylon says a ten out of ten. I, I guess a ten. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. He's gonna love it, man. Hold on. Tell me. You can't walk out until your eyes are closed. You're gonna love this so much. I'm so happy for you. You're almost there. We're gonna drop you off. I just want you to take one guess at what you think it might be. Um, uh, no clue. What is it? Is it a go kart? No, a golf cart? It's something outside. It's something that you've been wanting for a really long time. Yes, years. years and something you've been talking about for so long. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Like, what's I your favorite? I like so many things. I like so many things. I don't know what. I, I so can tell by the smile on your face, you already know what it is. <laughs> I know, you we know. Had to. You know we had to. It's all right. All right. 
Should he open his eyes now? Yeah, I definitely think so. It's time to see. Oh, Tommy. Five, Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. yeah. This? Yeah. I had to get it for you to like match the other one. I thought it was perfect. So you got me. And your nice, favorite color. Nice little car. Yeah, your yes. nice new everyday rider. A little Chevy Spark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, Dad. You know it's, oh man, where you get this from, babe? I got it right up from the Chevrolet store. They had a bunch, but this one was like so you. It was so you. I, I just couldn't pass it up. When I seen it, I was like, holy, this is screaming Marco Hall. Huh? How much you pay for this? Uh, don't worry about it, honey. I'll take it out of my shopping allowance. So you just added to the Chevy collection, huh? Yeah, oh, you're a okay. Chevy kind of guy, and I just thought this was perfect. So this is our family car? It is a new family car. And we can fit all the kids in there. I made sure it sits five, and it's great on gas. Yeah, we need to save gas because we've been hitting the highway to L.A. a lot. <laughs> thank you. You're Isn't he welcome. clean? Oh, yeah, thank you. That's the one thing. Oh, they said thank they you. Oh, oh, you <laughs> save a lot of money. Look at this. Yes. Come on, y'all. Come on, boys. Get in. Get in, Brayden. Wow. Let me hear that thing crack up. Yeah, yeah. Let's turn it on. Oh, that engine's smooth. Yeah. It ain't got no clanky clank in it or nothing. No, it rides just about brand new. How many miles on this thing? Check it out. 31,000. That ain't bad. Come on, guys. Brayden. We bought the ride. Give it a test drive, baby. Ooh. Ooh. This is nice. Ooh, that AC, AC work good. That AC cold. <laughs> you know you need a car with good AC. I had to make sure that the AC worked. Oh, thanks, babe. You're so welcome. There's enough room for Kaden's back and car seat back there, too. Yeah, and he can fit back there, too. Wow, I'm loving this. You do ride smoke, though. You know, I don't know much about cars, so. This thing, you can hit nice UVs. Hold on, let me get out and get you riding up the street in it. Let me get you a cameo shot. Okay. Let me get it. Yeah, yeah you can whip that thing around. Oh, Beverly Hall family, let me know right now. Do you think he really likes this car? <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> He loves it. I always love when I was... <laughs> oh man, that's killing it. You look good in I that thing. I look good in that thing. How many horsepower you got? A hundred? Uh, I'm not sure about horsepower. It's kind of hard getting up that hill. I, tried, I had it pedal to the metal. It was just... Really? It wasn't moving like the real. But it rides smooth though. This thing can get you from A to Z. It's a good running car. I like it. Yeah. Thank you, babe. Appreciate You're so it. Welcome. I didn't want to do too much. You know, you oh, get kind of like. All the best Father's Day oh. gift. I got a nice little family car. I know. Maybe we can give away to uh, Malibu since we got this. We can if you want to. Wow. Oh, you can like the Malibu. Don't. It's the best. You like the Malibu? <laughs> wow, man. This is, this is it. All right, Beverly Hall family, we are going to take the kids to the park, and we'll see you guys when we get there. Oh. You're looking good. Hopping out of that whip. I'm checking out this car. Yeah, I'm going to push the boys on the swing. What do you guys think? You guys got to come here. Come here. Come here, B. You guys think Daddy really likes the car or no? I think he likes it because it, because it had Wi-Fi. You do? Honestly, I don't know. I mean, I'm just so happy that he's devoting to this car, but I feel a little bit sad for him, though, honestly, because I'm so happy that he's grateful for this gift, but it's just a little bit sad, honestly. But a car is a car, though. Yeah. It all has definitely. four wheels, though. Yeah. Definitely. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Dodging the bugs.
right? No, he does not have the hood raised on it. What's the difference? What's a four cylinder mean? A four cylinder is like close to a tractor trailer. <laughs> what? You laughing at? It's like. <laughs> what? What y'all laughing at? I'm dying because you, you're you just like, you're cracking me up. Just checking the car out, you know. I never heard of a Chevy Spark, but <laughs> it's sparking. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. It is a five-seater, no? It's a five-seater, but it's like, you got a cubby hole in the middle. What do you mean? Well, you got to sit a cubby hole. It don't mean pull down. It ain't got no pull down. It just automatically got the cubby hole. It's a four-seater. Oh. So how's the baby or break? Oh, Somebody wow. go sit there and hurt their butt. Cannon can sit there. Cannon's butt go be on fire. <laughs> Uh, how we gonna fit the stroller back here in this little trunk? <laughs> that little trunk. Well, this will just be for little minor commutes and stuff, you know. I guess, yeah. And sometimes, whatever. I just thought it was gonna be nice, you know, to fill up the garage a little bit. You're like a little bug. Got the little antenna up there. <laughs> Why are y'all laughing? The, you're oh, just really? the way you describe things. Yeah. I'm grateful, though. Like, I'm happy, you know. Yeah, what kind of wheels are those? I think them uh, 12 inch with the hubcap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? I mean, they, yeah, they 15 inches. 15 inch tires. Okay, cool. Rims. So, yeah. Good, got good meat on them, got good tread. Yeah. Last long. Mm hmm. You know, that got some good horsepower, though. You heard about them, babe? What? Them things go hard. Yeah. Them hard right there. What kind of horsepower do this got? This? Yeah. This probably got like 120, 150. Okay. Like a tractor trailer, maybe. But like something like that got like what? Oh, babe, that's insane. That's a lot of money for that. Beverly Hall family, Marco says this is a nice car. That thing, nice. But I'm not going to walk up on it. I'm not even gonna walk up on it like that. I'm just checking it out for the Beverly Hall family. I don't think they'll mind. I don't know. I don't think they'll mind. Oh. Man. That's embarrassing. Don't do that. Why you walking on them people's cars? Because. Get in the car, man. I don't know what your mom's doing, walking on the car. I, I like the car, but we don't got to walk all up on it. I was just trying to get it for our YouTube video. Why are you getting it for the YouTube video? You just got me this. Okay, but... <laughs> you got me the spark. Okay, well, hop in. I am hopping in. You need to hop in, too. I'm about to, Them too. People just unlock the car, and, and, and you all up on their car. See, they doing it on purpose, like, get away. No, they're not. Let me just get a good close-up on the wheels. Maybe it's unlocked. I just want to check it out. I just want to check it out. Why are you in this car? Because it's nice. Whose car is this? <laughs> How you start that up? Because I got the key. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? That's my. Who is that? That's yours. Who is this? Yours. The GLE 63 coupe. Yeah. Oh my God. Man, no, you didn't, babe. Hold up. Get out of here. Hold up. Let me see something, man. <laughs> babe, you playing with me, man? No, I'm not. Wait, get me on high. I'm stuck. AMG, baby. <laughs> Y'all know about this. Y'all, it's some knuckleheads. Y'all know about this? Yep. We know. What do you think? This the baby new oven one. <laughs> I cannot.
can't. Yes, yes. I can't. Oh my you god! What do you think? Babe, you did this, baby. You playing with me. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> You're the best father I know. You're the greatest we father to our got children. Tags on that thing. GLE 63. Yep. Babe, you ain't give me the 53. You got me the 63. You got me the big dog. <laughs> it was only oh right. Oh my god. <laughs> now, what? now that looks like it fits you. A lot better than that one. <laughs> oh my god. No, you didn't. Yeah. The GLE 63 <laughs> Cool. You knew I wanted this thing, babe. This thing is brand new. I'm sorry. Rip me out the plastic I've been acting brand new. Hey, that's what I'm <laughs> talking about. Oh my god. Guys, give your dad a hug for that Father's Day. Great. Oh, thank you. This is insane. Well, Beverly Hall family, that concludes today's video. I told you guys that I was going to surprise my husband with his dream car. And oh my God. Let me know in the comments if you guys think I delivered right, or man, not. Oh man, she overdid it so dumb.